This May, I traveled to the beautiful grounds of the Franciscan Monastery in Washington, D.C. I stood in awe in their originally built 100-year-old greenhouse and stared inspired at their vast gardens. And then I met up with Capital B Care. I picked up my new hive and I went home. I haven't seen anything online that instructs you how to do this because the frames are different. I'm going off of information that I got from the book AZ Beekeeping with the Slovenian Hive written by Professor Janko Bozik. Professor Bozik recommends one way of doing it and he gives an alternative to that as well. So I'm gonna go with the alternative because I love expensive experiments. So in his book, Professor Bozik says that he recommends modifying the AZ hive with ears to hang the way that a Langstroth hive will and putting these AZ frames into your nucleus box and allowing the bees to fill this with frame. But another possible way of doing it is to take the Langstroth frame from inside of the nuke and install it into the AZ hive, which is what I'm gonna do today. I built this nook up at the top of the A-frame to keep my uh, beekeeping supplies. It's worked out really well. Everything's always quite handy, which is a, which is a new thing for me. Let's get suited up. Immediately, one goes right in my face. Filling up this frame, okay. There's the queen. Um, your right side of the frame, near the bottom in the center, she's walking upward, marked with a white dot for the year 2016. And that's the way I planned to leave it, hoping the bees would expand into the open frames. And then I got some great advice. Cut to three days later. It seems like the bad weather is behind us for the time being, so what I'm going to do is pop in here and remove the frames one at a time, dust the bees off, and then using the plastic foundation that's put into those Langstroth frames, remove the plastic foundation and insert it into the grooves in the AZ hive frames, and then wire it to the top bar, and then place it back in as a frame of AZ. That's been recommended to me by Brian Dreber. Hello everybody, I'm Brian Dreber who installed quite a few nukes over the past couple weeks in this exact fashion. And uh, I didn't think of that, but it's a really good plan. Sounds of 9-11 brought to you by Silver Spring, Maryland. Now that I've got the frame out of the hive and I'm away from all the bees, I can uh, take some rudimentary tools and graft this into here. jellied in the face. That's a first. <sighs> Gross. <laughs> just, just push it out, he says. Is messy. Just clean up these corners so they fit nicely into the groove. There you have it, one medium Langstroth frame into one full-size Drebbyville AZ frame. I was able to get uh, three of the five nuke frames transported into the AZ frames. The other two didn't contain any plastic foundations, but they didn't have any significant uh, stores of 
nectar and there was no brood in the outside two frames so I just left those in there one's out front for them to rob out and this one's sitting here for them to rob out I'll probably remove that one tomorrow but that's the that's the just the very quick and dirty way of getting Langstroth nuke foundation frames into AZ hive frames I want to thank Brian Drebber hello everybody I'm Brian Drebber for showing me how to do that and for uh, for watching my video thank you